I love Quantrix and I want to make you a Quantrix master. Go to QuantrixAuthority.com to learn more. Hey, welcome back to another netcast. I'm Rich Lopez, Quantrix Authority. Sincerely appreciate you joining me today for episode number 257, Password Protecting Your Model. How do you do this in Quantrix? This is in response to a question sent to me by Marco at QuantrixAuthority at gmail.com. He wants to know how you can, uh, you know, keep a user from using a model or keep them out of a model or give them only certain permissions to a model. Say, for instance, like I showed you in episode 205, we created the sweet multidimensional model in Quantrix. It's uh, very sophisticated in what it's doing, but it was very easy to do in Quantrix Modeler. Again, watch episode 205 on how to really leverage Quantrix's multidimensional modeling power. But say you built this model, now you want to maybe make it secure. You want to lock it down so people can't get into it or you can control the permissions of what parts of the model that they have access to. In order to do this, you would simply go up to Tools, Security, Manage Roles, and you can go ahead and by default, there are three roles up here, and they are Modeler, User, and Viewer. And let's say that I wanted to give Modeler a password. I could go ahead and simply say Change Password, and I'm going to put in Password as the as a password, if you will. and if I wanted to add a user as a password, I could go ahead, or with a password, I could go ahead and put that. Also, if I wanted to create a new role, I could add that new role, and I, I would call it Rich's, Rich's role here, if I wanted. Now, how do I control? This is a good way to control whether or not they can get into the model, right? But how can I control what they are then able to do inside the model once they have it open? Well, you can go over here to Tools, Security, and you can select uh, permissions and the permissions window opens up and what permissions are available to the modeler are generally everything that is kind of like the master user of the model and by default they have permission to do everything but a user has maybe a little bit more limited scope of uh, permissions within the model and you can drill into each one of these uh, these uh, little drill downs and see what is available to them as far as editing the structure or editing the logic or editing the input or the data links within a model. So uh, very robust in its functionality. Also anything that, would it, that has a cloud here, if you hover on that, it says this permission also applies to models in the cloud. So again, that makes sense because formulae aren't available on the cloud, but data link functionality is available on the cloud so that's why this would have a cloud and this would wouldn't because because of that also uh, if i did create a custom role of rich's role again there's really no defaults here everything is seemed to be there seems to be no permissions to it but if i wanted to have rich's role only be able to save the model for whatever reason that might be a little strange but I can go ahead and establish that permission. So very robust in its permissions and its password protection. So again, you go to Tools, Security, Manage Roles, and use that in, conduct, in conjunction with Tools, Security, Permissions. If you have any questions about Quantrix, I, I do hope that you'll reach out to me at QuantrixAuthority at gmail.com. I absolutely love Quantrix. I want to make you a Quantrix master. I hope that uh, you will join me again for another episode of Quantrix Authority with Rich Lopez. Today's podcast is brought to you by QuantrixAuthority.com. I love Quantrix and I want to make you a Quantrix master.